In this tutorial, I'll create a basic blog with K2 using the content from the Devotions section of this website. This is a new installation of K2. There are currently no items and no categories. If you install K2 on an existing site, there's a handy option to import the Joomla content into K2. From the K2 dashboard, click the Import Joomla Content icon. A warning message is displayed indicating that all categories and articles will be imported. You should only do the import one time. If you've already performed an import and you do it a second time, it will create duplicate content. The Joomla articles are added as K2 items. And K2 categories have automatically been created for each Joomla category. If you're working with a new site, you can add content directly through K2 without using the Joomla Article Manager. You'll need to create one or more categories for your K2 content. Just click the New icon and give your category a title. When you do an import, the content is copied. The articles still exist in the Article Manager. The Joomla categories are there as well. K2 did not delete anything. Once I'm sure I have everything the way I want it in K2, I'll go in and manually remove the articles and categories since it's not necessary to have the content in both places. If you don't want K2 to handle all the content for the site, just delete those categories or items from K2. For example, on this site, I'll use K2 for devotions, books, camps, people, and articles. So I'll remove everything else from K2. When you select and delete categories, K2 will automatically delete all the items in that category. Since I don't need to use the import option again, I'll remove the icon from the toolbar. Click Parameters, select the Advanced tab, select Yes for Hide Import buttons. Now I need to change the Devotions menu so it displays the K2 content rather than the Joomla articles. I'll change the menu type. K2 offers several menu types. For the blog, I'll select Categories. Under Basic Options, I'll select the Devotions category. Save the menu option. I'm going to add a module in the right column as a placeholder for now because I don't want the content to stretch across the full width of the page. I'll just turn the K2 Comments module on for that page. Adding the module on the right will give me a better idea of the sizes I'll need for images. This is the content as K2 displays it by default. It needs to be formatted better to improve the appearance. Part of the problem is that these images are actually embedded in the articles since I had articles already created in Joomla. I'll have to remove those and insert those as K2 images. K2 allows you to control the layout from several areas, from the category settings or within each item or menu option. Usually you'll want to set the layout options at the category level. The devotions items are all in the Christian Cowgirl devotions category. In the right column you have your layout settings. Keep the template set at default. I'll cover templating in a later tutorial. Under Layout Grid, there are currently two leading articles set to display in one column or full width. There's the first leading item and the second. I'll change that so they display in two columns. I don't like the category info at the top of the page. Under Category View Options, I'll set each of these to Hide.
We've removed the category information and we have the two leading articles displaying in columns. I'll have to adjust the images. I'll set the primary items to display in three columns and to show six items and the secondary to display eight items in four columns. I'll save that and then take a look at the page so I can set the image sizes to work within that layout. This page looks pretty messy right now, but it won't take long to clean it up. What I need to do is determine what size I need the images to be for each of the different sections. You could do this mathematically if you know the width of the article area of your template. Divide that by the number of columns, allowing for margins or padding. I'll just use a screen ruler to quickly determine the widths. For the two column leading items, I'll use a width of 325 pixels. For the three column primary items, I'll use 200. And for the four column secondary items, I'll use 150. Remember the image size settings in the global parameters? I envision most of the other sections of this website being laid out in a similar way to the Devotions page, so I'm going to use the image sizes I just came up with in the global settings. I'll set small to 150, medium to 200, large to 325. I want something a little smaller for extra small, so I'll set that to 80 and I don't need anything quite that large. I'll set extra large to 600. I'll set the image quality to 80. K2 also provides a light box pop-up on the images in your items. That setting is actually under content, extra fields. Here I've set the pop-up width and height to 600 each. Now I have to go back to the category settings and assign those global image sizes to the leading, primary, and secondary items. Leading items should be large, which I set to 325, primary medium, and secondary small, so that should all work out. The item image options allows you to override the global image size settings if you need to for a particular category. If you're using previously entered Joomla content, you'll need to delete any images that you entered directly into the article and add them through the image tab in K2 in order for the resizing to work correctly. So I'll delete this image that's embedded in the article and then I'll click the image tab of K2, select choose file, you can also enter an image caption and image credits. I'll click save and close. Actually I need to enter a read more link in these articles also. I went through and edited the items, removing the embedded images and adding each image through the K2 image tab. I also added read more breaks in the text. From the category settings, under item view options in category listings, there's a setting to control the amount of intro text that's displayed. I entered 40 here. This helps to keep the amount of text consistent across columns. Here's the page after those changes. In the next session, I'll continue refining the blog layout and show you how to control user access and editing from the front end.